How many people, how many people have already paused this video, hit this like, and screwed off? I, I, I'm genuinely cur curious because this is gonna make all those people so salty. But here's why I want the people who actually watch this video. Who? To tell the people who left after just pausing the video just to dislike it because of the title. Find them. Just go to them. Tell them. You didn't hear his argument. So basically, you're just admitting you're a big baby and you didn't even want to hear his point and give a counteract to that point. Okay? So, what? You're not going to disagree with me, so in a way, you're saying that I'm right. Anyway, the true fans who want to hear the truth about what I'm here to talk about stayed. And good on you. So, you're probably wondering, the tile. Wow, that tile. Yeah, we're going to go in. Well, I'm going to go in and you're going to listen. This is about Son Gohan. Oh, I can tell I'm going to make a lot of people really, really salty in this video. But the truth must get out. Now... You're probably saying to yourself, where, what, what is the reason behind this video? I want to just tell you guys, I just want to, I want to get, cast, as the truth, onto you Dragon Ball Z fans who are like, yeah, go on, he's the best. No, he isn't. And I'm going to tell you why. To fully understand this, you're going to have to cast your mind back. To when we first met Gohan. The start of Dragon Ball Z. So, start of Dragon Ball Z. He, he, we meet Gohan when he's just a little kid. He's about five years old. Four or five years old. Just around the time that Raditz shows up. So, Gohan has no fighting experience at this point. But he's Goku's son, which instantly would make you th made everyone who initially watched Dragon Ball Z at the start when it first premiered, who would watch Dragon Ball, all think, okay, this kid could end up being just as strong as Goku. Hell, he might even become better than Goku. And we all wanted that to be the case. But did it ever happen, really? And before people come at me, me, he would sell, I will get to what happened, what really happened in the Cell games. Because people often overlook what really happened. And I'll explain that, but let's, let's, let's continue on this path that I'm currently taking you on. So, oh, after Goku brings Gohan to me, he bum. A crow and Master Hoshi all at, at um, Kame House. It was right up after her brief encounter with Piccolo who, to, who, who, uh, to make his proposal of killing everyone and taking over the planet to Goku. Who, who, when Goku rejected him, he writes, it's incapacity, Goku who went enough to take off a Gohan. This forced Goku to make an, at the time, uneasy alliance with Piccolo oh, in order to stop the rats. And, well, you guys know what happened. Rats was kicking Goku and Piccolo's ass. As 
That's then out of nowhere, freaking Gohan comes in with a fucking headbutt like he's a fucking Pokemon. Hmm? And the guys over at Team Four Star even made that joke. Um, by the way, I'm rocking a Team Four Star shirt. It, it just felt right to be wearing some kind of Dragon Ball Z merchandise. He's, he's, I couldn't find my uh, Dragon Ball Z shirt. Anyway, he, that aside, um, yeah, so they made that joke, and this, that headbutt cracked Raditz's arm, which, I don't know if it helped, it seemed like it helped Piccolo's special beam cannon to uh, penetrate the armor and kill Raditz, and kill Goku, but... It, that's 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 uh that was Goku's decision. He he said he practically decided, you know, there's only one way to do this and I need to die. It's probably a good thing that he died in hindsight because if he didn't die he wouldn't have gotten the training he needed to defeat Nappa and Vegeta, so in hindsight that was actually a really good idea from Goku. But this video isn't about Goku. It's about his his son. Well, his first son. So, oh, that was the first time we saw, oh, oh what, Go, Wuhan, maybe he capable of. And Piccolo saw this as well, and that is why he took Gohan off to train in, for the arrival of Vegeta and Nappa. Ah, so, what did... So after a year of training with Piccolo, who, who at the time is the second strongest on the pa planet, the second strongest fire, or, or, or who we've met and, and is still around because Vegeta hasn't arrived yet, uh, and Nappa hasn't arrived yet, uh, because at that time Nappa was stronger than Piccolo. Oh, um, so Piccolo. Yeah, was his training a little unorthodox? Yes. Did it work? We didn't. We don't know. We don't. We didn't get a chance to see. Like, Gohan, Gohan, Gohan had what one or two instances where he got involved during that whole thing. He freaking, he got angry to the point where he knocked Nappa into a freaking mountain. And that was just before Nappa fired his beam to kill Piccolo. And later he he tried to hold off Vegeta while Krillin and Goku set up the spirit bomb. But those... What did he really accomplish there? He didn't accomplish anything. Yeah, he, he knocked Nappa into the mouth. But, you know, he, he didn't follow up on it. He... He did nothing after that. And the next time he got involved was, was like I said, when he he went to fight Vegeta it, to uh, help, help make sure Vegeta got hit by the spirit bomb. So, then that was the last time he got involved. Oh, really? And don't don't count that or Ozaro shit. Just don't count that. Because that, that... Let's be honest. It's, it's not... Not really. He go on fighting on his own accord. That was instinct from the uh, him blood and the and his tail and having seen Vegeta's artfully created uh, moon. So you now that doesn't count. That does not count. Okay, that does not count. So after a bit of healing, Vegeta uh, left. If before that, um, because they let him go, which in, in, at the time didn't seem like a good idea, but it ended up being a good idea because then he joined them eventually. He at first he was still a dick, which is okay. Anyway, after her Gohan and then Krillin held up, they went with Bulma uh, to 
Namek. Once on Hammock, Gohan got involved again. This time he he did something similar to what he did with Nappa when he he bashed the Doria into who, the uh, Namekian house to save Dende. Again, granted, maybe it was a smart idea, but still, instead of following up, trying to eh, eh, take advantage why he had the door, yeah, on, well, I don't know if I should say on the ropes, but he had stunned the door and knocked him into the house. It, was, it took the door a few seconds to recover from that, which is the time they took. They took that time to escape instead of staying to fight. Now, while you could say that was a smart idea, I just look at it as he again didn't do anything because I mean at this point we know what Gohan can do. We've we've seen it, it, but it always seemed, and the the show made a good point, made this point in clear on, on numerous occasions. Is a Goku, I'm sorry, Gohan, getting my names mixed up here. Gohan could only release that power that he has when he's angry. So I'm instantly the fans are like, oh my god, is he only going to be useful when he's angry? So anyway, he they he avoided the door, yeah. Yeah, they end up leading him into a assault by Vegeta, which leads to the Doria's death, and they escape. They put then they back to their high location. The next time he go and gets involved is when he and Krillin fight. He Goldo, oh, way later, or, or in between that, he did he take a knee from Vegeta. Uh, but that wasn't really f a fight. I think Vegeta just did it just to be a dick. Heck, so well, that I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm choosing not to include that because I don't think Vegeta was looking to fight Gohan there, and I don't think Gohan would have come out good if that fight had occurred, especially. Considering how much stronger at that point Vegeta would have been, and Gohan had no one around to either die for, to make him angry enough to fight Vegeta, or or back him up to make sure that he doesn't die to Vegeta. So, oh, the, he took a knee. Whatever, or he still got away with the dry hangball, which he was hiding from Vegeta at the time. Back to the uh, fight with Goldo. This is, I want to say, his best fight up until the Cell fight. He, this really, like, the most really involved he got. I mean, he got involved a bit with Frieza, and I'll get to that in a second. But, you know, it seemed like he, he was trying to... Eh, take this opportunity to maybe step up just a little bit. Because he was a bit angry that that um, Ginyu had fallen off with the Dragon Balls. And, you know, he saw this as their chance to wish Piccolo and Co. and uh, the others back to life. He, who were killed by Vegeta and Nappa. Or, sorry, Nappa. Because uh, Vegeta didn't kill anyone. And one dude who was killed by a Cyberman, but we don't know who that guy is. Who the fuck cares? It was Yamcha. Anywho, um, so in the in a way, they did lose to Goldo because he was about to kill. Well, well, um, hold on. When Vegeta stepped in, if Vegeta hadn't stepped in, Krillin and Gohan would have died right there and then. To in their own words, 
someone who seemed a lot weaker than the other members of the Ginyu Force. Now, Grant, that could be down to Gildo, who be, he, you know, psychic and having time powers. That's why he's not as strong as the other members. But they, he themselves said he wasn't as strong as them. Obviously, he, he comparing power levels. So go, Han. Hmm. Technically lost that fight. Fight. I'm I'm counting that as a fucking loss. And if you have a problem with it, fuck off. Cause this is my video and I'm exposing the truth. And if you don't want to listen to it, then you're clearly not a true fan. Because a true fan would listen to my opinion and and then give me a counteract to that plan. To my opinion, and that's what this video is about. I'm gonna give you guys my valid reasons of why I th think, why I th think, and why the title of the video is what it is. And I want you guys to give me reasons why you think not. But anyway, back to the story. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, he lost to Goldo. He and Krill lost to Goldo. This isn't about Krill, no. This is about Gohan. So Gohan's next involvement isn't until later with Frieza. He fights Frieza in his second form. And gets a little pissed off when he thinks Frieza has killed Krillin. To the point where he does seem... He stunned Frieza a bit, but like he did with Nappa and... And, uh, the Doria, he didn't follow up. He let Frieza recover. And had Krill not come back when he did, hit Gohan would have probably died there as well. And, um, yeah. Next point of. I guess the next point would be depending on wh here, what we're looking at here. Or are we looking at now? I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore his attempt at stalling Frieza later. I, I don't I don't think he was taking that seriously. I think he was just like I'm just gonna stay here and yeah, just gonna hold Frieza off until the planet blows up. Yep. And he was probably thinking, I, I might die, but Frieza will die as well. Not, not uh, using his brain. But uh, look, Goku came back, and then they started fighting again. So, well, fast forward to the next time Gohan gets involved, which is not until the Cell games, because he doesn't fight in either Android 17 or 18. He's with Goku at the time. That, wait, was he? Yeah, he was. With, he was checking on uh, Goku, who with the heart condition, when everyone got their ass kicked. So he wasn't there for that. He didn't fight any of the androids. Absolutely none of them. He didn't fight. He Doctor Zero. He didn't fight nineteen. He didn't fight eighteen. He didn't fight seventeen. He didn't fight sixteen. He fought no android up until he fought. But. Cell. So we go to the Cell games. After Goku. Who forfeits. It's, and then nominates Go on to step in. And this is where. Her, everyone. Praises Gohan out the ass. And I will give Gohan his due. He did very well. Oh he. Managed to. It incapacitates oh, with a punch that made him regurgitate six. Uh, sorry, eighteen. Getting my androids mixed up. <laughs> he killed sixteen, but that was after that, wasn't it? Was that? Yeah, no, that was after. That was after he. Then he punched him, and then so threatened to blow himself up. Then Goku came in, stepped in, transported him away. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while since I watched it, so. Oh, exact, yeah, sequence of events. 
and it's got a bit mixed up there. So, I'll, I'll give Gohan credit. There, he beat Cell. That point, he beat Cell. But, Cell came back. Back. And he was not only... He... He... More stronger, and able to teleport, because reasons. He... Killed Trunks, because... I guess, why not? Although, I mean... In hindsight, Cell should have fired that beam at Gohan, really. I mean, he would have won, but, you know, script. So, Gohan and Cell fight again. The Cell Juniors are involved at some point. No, wait, that that was before, because Goku was involved as well. Yeah, that was, that was beforehand. He'd already killed them. Um... After her another bit of a battle, well, we come to the Kamehameha battle well, between Gohan and Sal, and this is where everyone loses their her shit and says, "Oh, look at how well, Gohan overcame the odds! It's with one hand, and freaking he beat Sal." No, he didn't beat Sal. No, 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 no. So here, here, here's what happened because clearly you you've forgotten. Hmm? Gohan was losing that battle. He was losing it, it, and Goku using King Kai's uh, freaking hmm, mental telepathy phone thing was telling Gohan release your energy, release your energy. He he was giving him energy. He, 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 they did the Far Sun Kamehameha, which, in, which combined with all of Goku's other friends, and rifles, and Vegeta, yeah, has blasts on the Earth, so, so, oh, finally, he ended up killing Cell. Oh, well, oh, that was cool, that was not go. It wasn't. Almost all of that power came from Goku. And you can dispute all you want. Go back and watch it. Go back and watch it and take it in. Hmm. Then what happened after that? He went to school. Uh, he was brainwashed by Chi Chi, who in herself could get a video of me. Constantly telling her to fuck off. But, um, I gotta make that video. Unless you guys want me to make that video, but... Well, let's be honest here. We all know she's shit and shouldn't be in the show. Oh, and... Oh, she's really the main reason Gohan is as bad as he is. Yes. So this video... Oh, can be dedicated to Chi Chi. Hey, thanks. Thanks, bitch. Um... But yeah, uh, he fought the Doria. I mean, not the Doria. What's your man's name? Freaking good. The Bora. The Bora. He fought the Bora in Babadi's ship. Um, lost, and even Vegeta called him out on it, saying he's too busy. He thinking about books and girls, supposed to focus on his fighting. And despite this, Gohan takes on Boo and rightfully gets his ass handed to him. And even when he comes back later. As Ultimate Gohan. Ooh. He still gets his ass kicked. And yeah, you can say, oh, but he. Boo had absorbed Super Go tanks. Really? They made a huge deal about Ultimate Gohan, and he can't beat Boo mixed with Super Go tanks? Now, maybe you could say, oh, but he was afraid to kill Boo because he would kill 
Oh, Trunks and Goten, and then Piccolo. Those guys can be wished back. Yeah. So, they, they, they can all be wished back, so... Oh, Gohan had no reason to hold back against Boo. He lost, plain and simple. So, Ultimate Gohan lost to Boo. And after that, what happened? What was he doing in Super? Nothing. He's getting involved in the tournament. What's well, going to happen? He is probably going to lose. And if he beats anyone, they don't deserve to be in the tournament. So, that's my. Hey, uh, stance on Gohan. He started off as a promising character, turned into, who, who, okay, needs some work, almost getting there, her to, okay, he's almost there, her to, who, when he gets to sell, okay, here we go, then at post-sell, we're like, oh my god, no, to, pretty much dead. Not literally dead, but may as well be dead. And, the Dragon Balls. Can't make that unhappen. That's my... That, and there you go. The truth is revealed. Do you want... Let me know in the comment section below. Because I'm going to enable him on this video. Because I want to hear some people. Oh, I want to hear your opinion. I want you to tell me why you think I'm wrong. And if I get no comments, I'll know I've left everyone speechless. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hit smash the like button for the truth being revealed. Until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.